Personal injury attorney Stuart Vance from the Vance Law Firm is in studio with us this morning waiting to answer your legal questions right here on air. That number to call 420-9732. Stuart, as always, we like to remind our viewers that you are a personal injury attorney. What type of cases do you typically handle? Yeah, we handle mostly cases where someone uh, has been hurt by no fault of their own. That could be a uh, small soft tissue injury or catastrophic uh, death or dismemberment. We've handled the entire gamut and we do that often, but it's usually uh, because someone has called us in a timely fashion and it wasn't their fault, whatever has happened. So that's the, the main thing. You didn't cause the accident or the injury and uh, you call us in time so no time runs out. There's a popular post going around social media right now. A woman co-signed on a loan with her husband. They got a divorce. He quit making the payments. Is she still on the hook to make those payments? Yes, unless it was specifically addressed in the uh, divorce documents. Um, and still then, it, it's, you know, if, if they sign, they could still be on the hook with the lending company because that's a separate document. Uh, it's whether it's a home loan, a credit card loan, a car loan, anytime you co-sign, that's what you're doing. You're putting your name and your, hey, I'm, I'm obligating myself to pay that debt. And, you know, whether it's a divorce or uh, someone passes away, if you're next in line, they're going to come looking to you. You need to be prepared if you co-sign right. to make that payment by yourself. That's exactly right. If the other person has possession of, say it's a car, mm -hmm. and they quit making the payments, you're making the payments, how important is it to keep up with all that documentation to go and say, hey, that car needs to come to me? Can't yeah, it, it, yes, you can, it's, 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 but you know what you're fearful of is, is uh, somebody coming and repossessing the car because you assumed somebody was making payments and they weren't, and you, didn't, you weren't kept up. Now, whether there was a mistake and they didn't mail you the proper paperwork, whatever it might be, there may be some answers, but ultimately uh, that, that's something you should always be cautious of when you're signing for someone else to be responsible. Hey, whether it's a child, a relative of some sort, a friend, a neighbor, whoever it is, just be, just be mindful that if you sign it, uh, it could always come back to you and someone could look to you for the payments. You're going to be on the hook. That's exactly right. For that. Let's go to the phone lines now. We have Liz in Montgomery. Liz, go ahead with your question. Good morning. Good morning. My question is, Alabama is an at-will state. But can you still be fired if you're under your physician care? Yes. You can be. That's a, uh, we see that often uh, in, in car wreck cases that we handle. That we we tell all our clients, hey, be you know, be mindful of that. That uh, what she said is an at will state, meaning Alabama is an employment at will state. That you can be terminated for just about any reason or no reason, unless it's a protected federal class of people, whether that's a, a religious base, a minority base. Um, you know, there are different categories of folks that you can't just fire them summarily, but anybody else. Uh, you know, it could get fired just somebody got up on the bad, wrong side of the bed and said, hey, I'm firing all these people today. That could happen. So, uh, yeah, just be very careful of that um, when, when you're out there uh, being treated and you're going to have to miss work. Make sure you coordinate that with your the, the, the office, whoever's in charge, whether that's you have a human resource department or your direct boss, whoever it might be. We often tell our clients that make sure you stay in contact with your employer because if you just keep not coming to work because the doctor said you should stay off work, uh, while well, that's a valid excuse, most places some employees don't, some employers don't say it that way, and you just need to make sure you're you're careful around that. Yeah, some employers see this. Hey, we have a business to run, and we yeah. need to get somebody in that that position. Yeah, or you've got so many day, sick days available, uh, and then it's just to your point, it's inconvenient for the business. So just. Um, uh, Make sure everybody's on the same page. That was a good question, Liz. Thank you for calling. You know, it's a busy spring break season. A lot of folks are on the road right now. What do you want to remind people about before they hit the road? Because you deal with a lot of car accidents. We do. Uh, you know, be mindful. Make sure all your insurance is proper. Uh, it's up to date. It's been paid. You're not, you know, it didn't lapse on you. You didn't miss a payment last month and it got canceled and it just didn't get to your, the paperwork didn't make it to you in time. That's a hard and fast. If, you, if your premiums were due, you know, March 1 and you didn't pay them on time and you're driving around thinking you've got insurance, you may very well, very well not have insurance. Uh, the other thing is, please slow down. Uh, and that just is across the board. Whether you're a young driver, an old driver, whatever it is, please slow down. There are more cars on the road. Uh, whether the weather is really beautiful like today or whether it's really messy like it was a week or so ago, uh, just slow down, especially at this time of year, really every time, but this time of year when there's more folks out on the road. 
you know, we're going to have uh, some rain this weekend too, so you may be running into some tricky conditions as you're traveling to your spring break destination if you're heading out this weekend, so be careful. Yeah, absolutely. The speed limits are for typically, not for when it's dry, not when it's wet. So exactly. if it's 65, that doesn't mean when it's pouring down rain. That's not the speed you have. That's exactly right. That's right. <laughs>